welcome back and welcome to day five in my 12 days of palettes series. Today is all drugstore. Everything on my face is from the drugstore and so is the palette that we're using today. Today's palette I'd actually never used before until this video and it's from e.l.f. It's the new classics palette and this did not disappoint. I am so happy to have this. I can't wait to use it again. So we're gonna be using this as well as a bunch of other drugstore makeup to create this look. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's get started. So today's we're actually gonna do all drugstore makeup. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX brow glue first and I'm really excited about this actually we're going to be using a NYX not a NYX an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette for this video and I've actually never used it I bought it a few months ago and I planned to do a video with it and then it just never ended up happening so um, I figured I would use it for the 12 Days of Palettes. It's a really pretty e.l.f. palette. I'll show it to you in just a second. It's called the New Classics Palette. And it's just a really nice neutral palette, but you get a lot of different colors in here. So this is what it looks like. This is what the front of it looks like. And then you get all of these really pretty colors in here. I just feel like this is a really good mix of neutrals, but there's a lot you can do with this. You get some deeper shades, some lighter shades, some like metallic-y shimmery shades in here. And I figured we would use all drugstore makeup today. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to let my brows sit for a second and we'll go in with some corrector. I'm going to use um, Neutrogena. And I'm just you know, tapping this in with my Real Techniques brush. Yeah, it's just like literally the worst time for them to be doing that. If they had done it yesterday, that wouldn't have been as bad because I literally edited videos pretty much all day yesterday. But of course today is my filming day and I need to film at least two videos, preferably three. And of course, Today is the day they decide to jackhammer outside the house. Okay, for foundation today, I am actually going to use this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I don't think I've used this since I repurchased this. I had this a long time ago, and I ended up decluttering it. I'm not really sure why because I really like this actually. And then I recently saw um, Jessica Braun using this and I suddenly really wanted to try it again. So I repurchased mine and I wear the shade Soft Ivory. Ooh, and you guys, I've been doing something else differently that I wanted to share with you. So I have been, before I blend in my foundation, I have been spraying my face with setting spray. And I feel like it does something, like it helps really spread the makeup or something. I don't know, but I've really been liking it. So I'm gonna use the Morphe one today. And I just kind of spray it all over and then start blending it in and I don't know what it does it almost I don't know if it's because it like rehydrates your skin right away or something but I swear the finish of my makeup looks different when I do this I'm not sure what it is but I've seen several makeup artists try this before and I just did it randomly one day when I wasn't filming and I just thought it looked really nice it made my foundation look, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it was very, very noticeable to me at least. So that was that one layer of product. So I don't know if you can see 
the finish of this makeup, I mean, that Wet n Wild foundation is more of a dewy consistency and it has a luminous finish to it, but I don't know, something about spraying the setting spray seems to make her a big difference in how it looks. I will say this foundation does have that weird kind of Wet n Wild smell, but it's not quite as bad as the original photo focus foundation. It doesn't smell like straight up paint, but it definitely has like an interesting smell to it. You can definitely smell it. So I wanted to also point that out, but I think I'm going to take my sponge this time. Well, no, I'm going to use the brush because I want to get a little more coverage. Yeah, every time I would see Jessica Braun use this, it just looks so pretty on her skin. So I decided to try it out again because I can't really remember why I ended up decluttering this. I don't remember if it was the color or if it was the foundation or what it was, but I think it's a really pretty one and it's very affordable. I think it's like $5.99 or something. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Peach. I will say that uh, Wet n Wild foundation is, I would say, at most a pretty light medium coverage. So if you're wanting to cover a whole lot, I would assume you're probably going to want to use a little bit of concealer anywhere where you have more that you want to cover. That's why I'm using this e.l.f. Camo Concealer because it's much, much more of a fuller coverage. So just keep that in mind. But the finish of that Wet n Wild foundation is so pretty. I love it. I'm going to blend the concealer out with my Sigma brush. All right, I wanted to use a little bit of my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer today, and then we're going to use a little bit of Powder Bronzer on top as well. But I really wanted to use this since it's drugstore, and I really love this product, I think. This is one of my favorite drugstore purchases from 2021. I used the shade um, Honey Drip, and I'm going to use it on this. Fenty 125 brush. And just kind of tap it on. One of the things I love most about this putty bronzer is it's very buildable. So as you can see, like it's there, but it's pretty sheer. And the more you kind of work with it and blend it out, the more um, skin-like. It just looks like it's part of your skin. And what's even better is it's like $5, which is crazy. I also really love this particular shade for my skin tone. I feel like it just looks, it's like a really good bronzer color for me. So if you're near my skin tone and you're not sure what color to get, I would recommend this one, Honey Drip. And then I, th I think this is the second to lightest shade. I think Tan Lines is the lightest color in these. All right, now I want to use this. This is from Revlon. It's the Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer. And this is the shade 110 Sunlit Glow. This was also something I got this year. I think these might have come out this year, actually. And I also really like this. So I'm just kind of going over where we put the putty bronzer very lightly. And these actually kind of remind me of the Hourglass bronzers. Uh, just the finish of them kind of reminds me of those, so... If you were ever wanting a good drugstore option, I really like these. And obviously they're like much less expensive than the hourglass ones. 
Okay, for blush, I want to use the LA Girl blush in the shade Just Natural. Also, a new discovery from this year. I feel like I've tried a lot of things that I really like from the drugstore this year. The color of this actually kind of reminds me of my Clinique blush, the um, Nude Pop blush. That's what the shade of this kind of reminds me of. I really, really like it. All right, now I want to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to use this first. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in neutral brown and this one is one of the ones that has kind of a larger tip to it. So with this I'm really just going to outline my brows and then I'm going to go in with my NYX pen and kind of fill them in a little bit. This pencil is pretty thick so it's kind of hard to do the hair like strokes with it but it's good for just kind of like outlining the shape that you want okay and then we're gonna fill in a little bit with my NYX pen okay now I want to add a little bit of powder not a ton just a little so I'm gonna use my number seven uh, lift and luminate powder and for this, I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller brush. And I use the shade Light Medium, by the way. And I'm going to go around the bottom of my bronzer and blush. Kind of on the side of my nose here. And do the same thing on this side. This is another drugstore gem that I've discovered this year, this stuff. Mm, I love this so much, it's so good. And then I'm just gonna take it a little bit kind of in the center of my forehead. And I was gonna use this under my eyes, but I forgot that I actually have this powder. I wanna try this again. So this is from Essence, it's the Brighten Up Banana Powder. All right, but before I go in and put anything under my eyes, I'm going to go over them quickly with a damp sponge and just make sure there's no weird creasing going on. And then I'm using a small eyeshadow brush and just very lightly tapping that across. All right, I went ahead and primed my eyes, and now we're gonna move on to the e.l.f. palette for the eyes. So I've never used this palette before. I've had it for a while, but it's just, somehow I just haven't used it. So I wanted to try this out today, and I think we're gonna go into this shade here, which is uh, Cream, yeah. And it's what the name says, a true matte cream color. And I'm going to put this all over and kind of set down my eye primer. I've actually never used a large e.l.f. eyeshadow palette before. I have a lot of their little bite-sized palettes, which I really, really like. But I've never used one of their larger palettes before. Next, I'm going to go into the shade next to it, which is called Truffle. This is also a matte, kind of a peachier brown color. And I'm going to put this in my crease as a transition shade and kind of pull it inward. That's a really good transition color. It's warm, but not too warm. Next, I think I want to use this shade, which is called Earth. It's, uh, I would say, it's a gray, but maybe has like a little bit of a brown tint to it. And I'm going to use 
this brush. This is the MAC 217. I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner. I'm not really sure what look I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just playing. I just wanna use a good many of the shades since I've never used this palette before. Okay, that's a really nice gray shade. I really like that. I actually got this palette from uh, TJ Maxx a few months ago. They had these there, and I thought it was because they were being discontinued, but then I was on the e.l.f. website earlier, and this palette is still on there. And you can buy it. It's not like out of stock or anything, so I don't know if maybe they're like changing the packaging and that's why they were at TJ Maxx for a while, I don't know. But I know for a while my Target that's near me had the palette, like in store, had this palette. And then I think they phased it out because they all disappeared. But you can still get this on the e.l.f. website, so I'll link it for you below. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into Truffle, which was the shade we put in the crease, and I'm going to blend a little bit so this is a little, little more diffused. I kind of want to use this shade down here. It's called Opulent, and it kind of looks like a metallic green, but I can't really tell if it's green or gray in the pan. Okay. No, oh, no, it's a green. Ooh, it's actually really pretty. Let me swatch it for you. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty shade. So it's kind of an olivey green. I don't know how well this will work with a brush, but we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna go into Opulent, which is down here. And I'm gonna try to add this in the outer corner as well. And I'm using a BK Beauty 202 brush for this. And I'm kind of just adding it over where we put Earth, which was that gray shade. I'm gonna try to add it and then I'll look up close and see how much is actually <laughs> going on my eye. Sometimes those metallic, especially dark metallic shades like this work better with your finger, but it can be kind of hard to apply a dark shade like that with your finger. Yeah, not a whole lot of that shade went on. I mean, it definitely did a little tiny bit, but I feel like it still looks more gray than it looks green. Um, so I might actually take just a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of tap it out there just to add a little bit more of that color. And then I'll go back in with my fluffy brush and I'm just holding it like really, really far out and just kind of blending. So these shadows are blending really well, which I'm super happy about. If you know me at all, you know I'm going to use this green in here called Gilded. It's kind of just, looks like kind of a golden green, almost a yellowy green. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And with this one, I'm going to put that on center of my lid and kind of tap it up. I'm going to add a little bit more. Oh yeah, I love that color. Kind of looks silver, it kind of looks gold in certain ways, and then other ways it looks more green. I like that though, that's an interesting color. I would say this one is most likely going to be one you want to apply with your finger. Oh, that's pretty. You guys know, if you don't know, I love greens. Green is one of my favorite colors to wear on my eyes. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go into 
this shade here it's called uptown so this is a little bit more of like a not as pinky as the transition shade we use this one's a little more warm toned and i'm gonna go really in the crease where we put that initial transition shade truffle and i'm just gonna add a little bit of that okay you guys i kind of want to try something i've never done before and this may be a really bad idea i may regret doing this but i really want to take the dark or it's black it's called noir in this palette and i want to try doing that trick where people hold something like starting at their lower lash line and kind of angle it up toward the end of the brow and then they keep their eye open and use this edge like this i've also seen people do this with tape but i don't have any tape right here um i'm kind of scared to do this though i think i'm gonna try it and we'll just see what happens so i'm gonna hold this here Ooh. Okay, that worked much better than I thought it was going to. Hold on. Okay, yeah. That worked way better than I thought. It kind of left a weird little mark on like the tip of it. So I'm going to try to use a little angled brush now and kind of make it a little more pointed on the end. Wow, okay, that actually worked. Did you guys see that? You kind of have to still go in and fill in a little bit, but I feel like it definitely helps you get like that perfect angle if you use, if you go from like your bottom lash line. This eye is usually more difficult for me. Wow. Oh my gosh. I mean, the point of this one is not as sharp either. So I'm gonna have to like go and try to clean up the edge of it. But I actually like that method, I feel like. Okay, this one is definitely a little bit pointier. This one's a little bit chunkier. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of even them up a little bit, but I feel like that worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Not perfect, but pretty good. I've seen people do that method forever and I've just never done it. I've always wanted to try it, so pretty impressive. But one final thing I wanna do on the top is I really wanna take this shade right here called Platinum. It kind of looks like a silver but with a little bit of a blue green kind of tint to it it's a pretty color though and i'm actually gonna put this right in the center oh that's nice how pretty this is such a pretty palette oh my lord i'm gonna take this shade called blanc up here so this is also a cream but it's it has a little bit of a sheen to it what it looks like and i'm gonna tap this in the inner part of the lid and kind of pull it up a little bit just to kind of brighten it up and then i'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and pop it in the inner corner okay you guys this this palette is pretty freaking good all right then i'm gonna go back into truffle which was the first shade that we used kind of more of a pinky brown and i'm gonna put this on my lower lash line 
I think I'm gonna take a bit of that dark green opulent and I'm gonna put this on the outer half of my lower lash line. All right, I think that's it, you guys, but holy moly, I love this little palette. And you wanna know what's crazy? I actually got this palette for $3.99. I mean, it's cheap anyway. I wanna say it's like 10 or $12 normally, but when I found mine at TJ Maxx, it was $3.99. So I paid $4 for this. And I, oh, this is good. All right, now let me quickly curl my lashes. All right, I was going to use CoverGirl Lash Blast because I love that one, but it's brown, and I feel like because we have this black liner, we kind of need a black mascara. So I think I'm going to use this one. This is Revlon Big Bad Lash. And I'm going to apply this. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the lips. And, of course, I brought out so many lip products because I could not, I just could not decide. So I have multiple lip liners. I have this from NYX. This is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. I also have... This, let's see, Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Seduction, which I don't think I've ever used in a video. I have two NYX lip liners, an LA Girl lip liner, another Revlon lipstick, and some lip gloss too. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Okay, I'm thinking I want to use this lip liner. This is one of the NYX retractable lip liners in the shade natural definitely more of like a brown nude all right and then do i want to use london or do i want to use i kind of want to use this for some reason this is revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, which this is not normally something I would use, but I really like this color. This smells like candy or something. It smells very good. Okay, so this, I don't typically, like you know if you watch my videos, I don't typically do like liquid lips. That's not usually my thing, but oh, that feels good. Feels very... Then it feels kind of moussey. Ooh, ooh, I like that a lot. And I feel like it pairs well with that lip liner. All right, and then I have two lip glosses. I don't know if I even want to add lip gloss, to be honest, because I kind of like how this looks. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to leave it. I kind of like just the liner in that lip. I don't know. I feel like I kind of like more of a matte look with this. So I'm just going to quickly spray my face one more time with Morphe. Continuous setting mist. And I'm gonna quickly take my sponge and just kind of lightly go over my face one more time. And that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have to say, my skin right now looks really, really good. And I don't know if it's just this combination of products or it might even be this foundation you guys this foundation is so pretty if you haven't tried this i would highly highly recommend it but i don't know something about this combination of products just looks really really good together and okay this palette where is it this you guys this i'm so happy i bought this i mean i would pay ten dollars for this for sure but i paid four dollars for this palette and I mean hopefully you can see on camera I mean look how pretty this is they applied beautifully they blended beautifully I love this if you see this palette or you want to order some things from elf I highly recommend this I can't wait to use this again actually because there's also some really pretty pinks and some purpley shades in here 
but I really love how this look turned out. I will list and link everything below as always. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe for more content from me. And please go follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair. I will see you guys tomorrow for day six of my 12 days of palettes. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Remember, simply be you. Bye.